Yo, 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 this your boy Christopher Wright back here again. Welcome back to the channel, guys. And in this video, we will be going over the 12 signs that you are ready to start your locks. Let's dive right into it, guys. <laughs> Yes, welcome back all my lockies, lockettes, the Lock Me Nation. Please stand up and rise because we are locked and ready to go. Guys, welcome back to the video, to the channel. I hope you enjoyed this phenomenal weeks that just passed. I hope you had a blessed day. But guys, in this video, we will be going over the 12 signs that you are ready to start your locks. And guys, you don't want to miss this information. So please, please, please stay all the way to the 12 signs. Make sure you stay all the way to the end of the video. But before we begin and before we start, you know, guys, I need you. If this is your first time and if you're reoccurring and you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. Make sure that it's not on personalized, but it's on all. And guys, as you can see right here, make sure it looks just like this when you're done clicking on it. Also, you already know how YouTube is. They love likes. So guys, it would do me a great service if you help me out by liking these videos. Every last one of them, especially this one. If you're curious to know this information, please like the video, hit those thumbs up, make sure that we all on one accord and that you show me your engagement. And that just lets me know and gives me feedback that you enjoy videos like this and more of the lock content I have coming for you guys. Also, make sure that you share this video with your friends and family and whoever this may be a value to. And then leave in the comment section if you experience any of these signs that you are ready to start your locks, leave that in the comment section below. So, Lockies and Lock X, we're going to dive right into the 12 signs that you're ready to start your locks. And this is the unisex edition. So, this goes this goes for the Lockies and the Lock X, the men and the women. So, all can apply. So, guys, let's dive right into it. So, first off, you know when you are ready to start your locks. The first sign is when you have researched every possible thing about locks and their origin. Guys, if you dug deep into every detail about locks, dreadlocks, whatever, whatever method, who got them thick, small, medium, whatever. If you dove into it, guys, something is sparking in your mind that, hey, I might like locks i might enjoy them so guys that is the sign number one sign number two when you crave adore and binge watch lock content guys i am a, a testament to this i was binge watching every which video possible on youtube googling everything guys i was asking any and everybody about you know what I'm saying what's the best method you know I was going on IG I was just exploring every possible platform to search for this stuff but I was binge watching videos like they were crazy like I was crazy like I was <laughs> it was I was just like I can't help it man I, I it just it was so much information to soak in everybody has their own take and their own personality and their own style and personality of their hair and you know what I'm saying and it came in all different shapes and sizes so guys I was thrilled and fascinated by watching a video probably every 30 minutes I was watching a video each and almost every day per week it was getting crazy it was is obsessive but I had to know I had to see you know what I'm saying because at before, I didn't have that information when I first started my first three sets of locks. Well, my first two. I didn't have this information available. So, why not dive into the information? I want to be smart this time around. So, that's what I did. Third sign is when all you continuously think about is locks. Guys, I mean, it really haunts you. 
it haunted me thinking about locks. I thought about locks non-stop. Non-stop. I thought about locks like, I was just like, man, I can't wait. I envisioned what my hair would be like. Like, I envisioned what my locks would be like. I envisioned how they would come out. I envisioned how, you know what I'm saying, everything just would have played out if I just start. And when would I start? I was so curious and anxious, but I mean, it haunted me in my dreams, my while I daydream, while I was talking to somebody, I was thinking about locks. It was crazy. So, I mean, it was continuous on the thoughts of thinking about locks, guys. Now, this one is specifically for the ladies. Sign number four, when you adore your two-strand twist and faux locks. And what I mean by that, ladies, when you keep them in for excessive amount of times, you keep them in for long durations of time. Like, you literally like, yo, I'm loving myself with the faux locks, the two-strand twist. And it, I mean, it gives you the look. It gives you the style, the look, the appearance of locks in cases. But you get the idea of how they were going to lay out, especially if you got long hair, ladies. Like lockets, you know what I'm talking about. You know when it's just layered down, you put them in the ponytails and fix them up however you do. You know how you ladies do. You know how you lockets do. And lockets, you know how you keep them in for a long amount of times. You know that. We ain't even got to go there. You know that. Now, this one is specifically for the guys because I do not see women do this too much. Um, if it ha if it if it goes on, you know what I'm saying? You can let me know in the comment section. But for sign number five, when you continually sit there and finger twist your hair every single day. Guys, I was doing that every day in class in high school. I mean, it would sometimes start on this side and one or two periods and then this side. You know what I'm saying? The next two periods. And next thing I know, I have my whole entire head, you know what I'm saying, full of twists. I have my whole entire head full of twists. But, you know, of course, I had to take them out because my family wasn't too fond of it at the various moment. You know what I'm saying? Um, they weren't too fond of me making that decision and having that hairstyle because it just, at that time, it had a bad rep. It had a bad rep to look that way. So... You know, I had to comb them out, but guys, yet again, I would still sit there in class. It was just soothing. It was calming and soothing to sit there and just twist all day, every day. I mean, I would get my work done. I had one hand with the pen or the pencil, get my work done while I'm twisting. Like, it was just that crazy. Like, I don't know, man. It's, it's addictive. And that's how I learned how to twist my hair through that. But that's how you know when, like, if I keep doing this every day, I must be really enjoying locks. Sign number six, when you are tired of your loose natural being free and you're tired of the braids, but you still desire protective styles. You still desire those protective styles. Or I should say that protective style. You still desire it, but you're tired of the braids. You're tired of your hair being loose and out and free. So what can I say? Hint, hint. Sign number seven. When you are tired of the upkeep and the maintenance that your hair requires and you're looking for a simpler style and a simpler lifestyle. Ladies, you know how that goes. Even for fellas, like for those who do do their hair or get their hair done, you're just tired of the upkeep. You're tired of all that. I mean, even though locks still require maintenance, but not to the level and degree that braids, uh, keeping up with your fro or your loose natural. Man, it's it's just way too much. Especially when the ones who are not natural and they have their hair more manicured um, and curated. So women with that that issue, you know what I'm saying? They, they might get like, it's just too much. It's overwhelming. You know, they like, hey, I want something simpler. I come across a lot of women that want something similar, especially on YouTube as well. Like a lot of women just want to be free. They don't want to spend all that time back and forth. Some do, some like that, and some, you know, but that, that just, you know, that's not for everybody. Definitely not for me. I want the most simplest thing to worry about. Haircuts every now and then, my hair grow back, and it just, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I, I do the waves every now and then. Then I, 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 
my mind always go back to hair. I always go back to a fro. So that's not, you know. So I definitely feel you on that. Sign number eight. When you are loose natural and you go weeks without moisturizing and caring for your hair. Man. Oh, man. Don't I know how that feels. Men and women go through that. You know what I mean? Especially guys. Especially our lock, our lockies, man. We we really go through that. Cause sometimes we don't even wanna wrap it up. We don't wanna tie it down. We just wanna lay down and go on about our business. So you know how we is, guys. We really like the simpler things in life, and you know how men are simple. We're not completely simple, ladies, lockets. We're not completely simple, but you feel what I'm saying? You get you get the point. You get the drip. You get tired of that. It's just like, uh, what do I do? What do I do next? What do I want to do now? So I definitely feel your pain on that. Sign number nine: When all of your important people that are around you, like friends and or celebrities, have locks, and you feel left out, you feel like, dang. My homeboy, my homegirl, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my wife, my husband, this celebrity, that celebrity, this celebrity, that celebrity. Everybody got locks. Everybody's doing it. It's all over YouTube. It's plastered on every social media platform. And I feel left out. I feel like I should be a part of it. Maybe because it's a trend. Maybe because people are starting to be revolutionary with it. You know, so, hey, who knows? I feel left out. So I should start my locks. Hmm. Sign number 10. When you only like to use oils and you avoid all these so-called natural hair products, which has all these chemicals and other stuff with the natural. Now, don't get it twisted. There is a lot of natural products out there, but it's also the fake natural products. It has chemical stuff in there that you can't pronounce. Yeah, those products. But when you avoid those, you just like, I just want to put oil in my hair. Moisturize it, a little rose water, a little vitamin E, you know, a little lavender, the essential oils, and that's basically it. And then, of course, you continue to wash your hair and so, but that's it. So, yeah. That might be your key sign right there. Sign number 11. When you want to be free of the hair politics and you don't care what people think about your lifestyle and lifestyle choices. When you're at that point and you're just like, ah, everybody's about this. Oh, you got to have this at the job. Oh, I got to be this way or look that way. Or I'm tired of wearing weeds. I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of my hair down. I'm tired of not getting jobs because of this hairstyle. Woo woo woo. And I've reached a point where I either accumulated my own self employed income or I have, you know, my own businesses or whatever. And I work at a job that is neutral, that, that does not make that a big point or selling point to hire me or fire me. Or that does not beat the make or breaker. So if you're t- if you're at that point where you're tired of the politics over hair, and you're just at a point where you know what, I just want to be free. It's the lifestyle that I choose. Then you already know you are right there. You're knocking right at his door. You are right there, ready and prepared for locks. Last but not least, lockies and lockettes and the lock me nation. The sign number 12. Sign number 12. When you're ready to take on your own carefree and spiritual journey and you still want your hair. Whatever locks may mean to you. Whatever significance they may have for you. And you're just at that point where I want a carefree lifestyle or I want to go more the spiritual route. Whichever you prefer, but you're ready to go that route and you want to still have your hair. Well, if you're going the carefree route and you're leaning towards a spiritual, a spiritual walk, then that just lets me know 
that locks probably will be best for you because at the end of the day, if you still want to keep your hair, you don't want to maintain the fro. Now, nah, don't get it twisted. Now, you might want to do the fro. Okay, cool. But let's be real. There's a more, more spiritual realm when dealing with locks. You know, we could go back to the origin. We can also go back to the Bible or whatever, you know, belief that you believe in, whatever the foundation that you believe in. Um, we could go back to how important hair is, how connected we are with hair and our bodies, our mind, our spirits, our soul, you know, and the physicality of flesh. So we already know how significant that is. So you already know why not do the locks, but lockies, lockettes. If you enjoy the 12 signs that I have provided you and knowing if you're ready to start your locks, do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button right now. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Also, make sure that it's not on personalized, but it's on all looking like this. Then next, I need you to give me the thumbs up if you like material like this, if you like content like this, if you like the lock channel and the lock journey that I have provided you, hit those likes up. Guys, we're on the road to 500 subscribers and I believe we can do it and it starts right now with you. Lockheed's like, yes, come on, support your boy Chris. We out here, we're grinding, we're doing it, we're putting in the work for you. Also, make sure that you share the video with your friends and family and who this video can be formative to. So make sure they get this video because they might be running across the 12 signs and they just don't know. And you might be the one who is locked, but it's hard to explain to them. We'll throw this video at them, show them this video. Maybe they might, you know, they catch on to it. And also, like I said before, leave in the comments section if you experience any one of these 12 signs and it helped you start your locks. So please leave that in the comment section for me and all my lockies, lockettes, and the lock me nation. Please stand up and rise because we have arrived and we are locked. But before I let you go, you know I got to leave you with the mantra. If God didn't make me special, he didn't make me right. Huh? I don't think y'all heard that clearly enough. Once again, if God didn't make me special, say it out loud for me. If God didn't make me special, he didn't make me right. Yes, that is the mantra. And let that sizzle in your heart. <laughs> Not your spirit like my boy, Country Wayne. Shout outs. But yeah, just let that sit and settle in your spirit because it's real. It's true. You know, we are specially made. And if we're not, then God didn't make us correct. But I believe we are. I believe we are unique and awesome in our own true ways. So, Lockies and Lockettes, your boy Christopher Wright enjoys spending time with you once more. So, I will see you in the next video. Love, peace. Uh, you know I love y'all, right? Get out of here.